Hello, folks. Welcome to tonight's game. This one's going to be good between the Texas State Cats and the Houston Cougars. Dick, you look at this one, and it doesn't look like it's going to be a great game, but sometimes we get surprised. Hey, you got to go out and play up to your ability, I and mean, this looks like it'd be a total m and a total mismatch. The Cougars should have a cakewalk tonight, Dick. What are the keys for them, you think? Hey, the keys for them should be straightforward tonight. First of all, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Second of all, get busy battling for the boards. Winning teams always rebound well. Lastly, execute defensively. Don't get caught going for the big steals or the big blocks. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. Both teams are looking to get something going here. He tries to knock down the three. Drains it. Oh, what a strip, Red. I tell you, they all want to take it to the Red. High wire rack, baby. Little dipsy dude, Doug Peru. Working it around the perimeter. Number 23 is pounded on his way up. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Misses. Second shot, good. On the dribble, gives it up. Nice fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. It's a fast break possibility. And up the land. The ball handler might be in trouble here. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. The ball goes out of play. Wood is emotionally pumped up. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. Gets it to fall. I have to see that one again. <laughs> Trying to feed inside. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Get that sucker out of the game, man. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Postel fakes the shot. From the top of the circle, scorches the net. Try to go inside. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Bob, uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. They work it around the perimeter with a deep shot from outside. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby.
They look to get it to the inside. That spin move is not going to work against a defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Transition opportunity coming up. Puts it up, looking for contact. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Let's it fly. He buries it. Hard foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. He got it. Houston are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Dumps it in. Looking for the foul. Perfectly executed. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. He steps up to the line. Misses the first shot. Makes the foul shot. The center with the ball. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Nice shot. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. Dump it inside. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. The power forward takes the feed. Great effort defensively. He says, thou shalt not enter thy lane, baby. Get it out of here. I'm the landlord. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see ball. Man, that's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Defensively low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. A uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. And it really converts an offensive transition. He fakes the shot. Here's a double team. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. The shooting guard takes the pass. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Looking for a good shot. With anticipation defensively, the point guard gets the ball. They work it around the perimeter. In the paint. Buries it. Number 23 gets the pass. There was no doubt about that one. Stolen away. The ball goes out of bounds. Look at that celebration. He is hooked. 
He's trying to pump up the fans, too. He's saying, hey, come along for the ride. And he's getting what he wants. This is what I love to see. The energy, the emotion, and passion, baby. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Pushing that basketball. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. They look like they're having a blast. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Entry pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. That's a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. A little frustration right there. Makes it. student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Trying to draw the foul. And he missed. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And the ball goes out of play. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the crowd is enjoying this close one tonight. A lot of energy and excitement coming from the stands. What is going to happen tonight? Thanks, Aaron. Nice high post screen. And the ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Turns it over. Jumps into the defender. Houston are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. He looks for the bomb. Sinks the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. And he misses the shot. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Looking for a good shot. From right at the circle. The Cougars have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep getting him the ball. It's simple. They'll bring it up. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. And a momentary look from three-point land. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Both teams looking to get things going here. Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting it. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows them to get the crease, the lane, the angle. Run him right at this. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They'll work it around the arc. Gave it up. There's the trap. And one too many dribbles and a steal. 
Dump it inside. Goes up for two. And in and out. On the outside. He launches a three. Texas State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they will keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. They work it around the perimeter. Step out on that screener. From the top of the key, he buries the shot. With a fadeaway jumper. Look at that follow through. You talk about versatility. There aren't many guys that are going to make that fadeaway jump shot. Great touch. Impossible to block that shot. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. <laughs> Unloads a three. Sinks it. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. And he scores despite the hack. There he is. Strips the ball loose. Look at that student body. They are going mad. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Been move not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Texas State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. He'll visit the charity strike. He makes it. down low and he hips up with his man and down he goes. Hey Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that baby. He's open if he wants the shot. Look at that spacing. From three point land. He drains it. They've got to figure out a way to slow him down. I'd start to get physical with him, and I'd see what happens. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. The Cougars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That he's on fire. Up and inside. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Picked out of the air. They get out on the break. For two, it's good. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. 
It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. He tries a jump hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. They're working around the arc. With a bucket, Texas State are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. On the inside, he looks at the hoop. Count that as a personal foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He throws it up from downtown. Off the rim and no good. Basket falls despite the contact. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the pass. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. The Cougars have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. On the outside. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chilled. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. Dick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. In the paint, looking for contact. Looking for a good shot on the outside. He bombs from outside. That's good. Number The fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. He intercepts it. There they come with a double team to stop it. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. That's a great play. What a play. Demonstrating unbelievable skill. Now look at him. He's celebrating with the cheerleaders. I love the zest of the young man. Dancing with the cheerleaders. That's awesome, Brad. Number 44 steps in for the first time tonight. This may or may not have been the right substitution at this point, Brad. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. He puts up the tray, drains it. Wide open for the shot. Here's a double team. Steals the ball. And back they come the other way. Jumps in. He gets the bucket to fall. Takes away the pass. My goodness. Players these days in their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> the 
He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in a foul. Hey, defenders must be confident we're going for a steal. If not, it'll often end up with a personal foul. Working around the perimeter with no time left. Way off target. At the half, the Bobcats are ahead by eight. Thus far, it's been a tightly contested game. Dick, what's your highlight of the first half? Watch some of the great inside work of the first half, Brad. The trick is whether or not they can keep going inside like that in the second half. Let's get back down to the action where it looks like the two teams are all set to start the second half. Houston couldn't retrieve the rock if their life depended on it right now, Dick. Brad, what they've done is allowing the opposition to get second shot opportunities, and that usually leads to a disaster. The way I look at it, Brad, I think the fans just want to be entertained. <laughs> well, you're talking about it. To be completely honest, Dick, so do I. I'm the one always to root for the underdog. Why not? What are the odds? He's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. And he'll kick it back outside. He fires from long range. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Look at these fans. They're loving it. It's crazy in here, Brad. The Bobcats have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. He shoots from downtown. The Cougars have got to continue to get him the ball. Daddy's on fire. Controlling the ball. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. He knocks down oh, another bucket. Oh, this kid's got skills, Brad. <laughs> Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Look at that. That's unbelievable, baby. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He shoots from right of the circle. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. Fake. Trying to draw some contact. Scorches the net. Gave it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. He may be in trouble here. Postel is admired by the fans. Listen to that ovation. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. Stolen ball. Goes up for two. It sticks. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Leans in. Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Hey, 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 hey. 
Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the key. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Robs him of the ball. For two. Tickles a twine. They work it around the perimeter. Good fake. Sets the screen for his teammate. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Time to pick up the defense here now. He's got some room. Double team now, bad angle. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. He shoots from long range. He gets it to go. The Bobcats are up by seven. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. He shoots from the elbow. Sinks the shot. He strips him clean. Postel makes a great move to draw the foul. Look at him now, Dick, celebrating with the cheerleaders. Now that's a spectacle. Hey, I think he's missed the versatile. Play some hoop, do a little dance. To the line. It goes in. Fakes it. With the fake. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes the shot. Way off target. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. You start comparing these backboards, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Stolen for the bucket. Houston have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. This is what I call home court advantage. This is what it's all about. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry.
It'll be interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. Executes the baby hook. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. And he'll kick it back outside. They're right on top of that pass. Number 23 takes it away. Looking for a good shot. He takes it away. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good space. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He gets it to go. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. On the outside. Stolen ball. Here they go, into the break. Puts it up, looking for contact. Houston are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. He tries the three. Goes in. Working it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. Number 23 is whistled for the foul. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Dick and Brad, there was a question coming into tonight's matchup. Are the favorites worthy of their ranking? From their performance so far tonight, it looks as if the naysayers were right. All right, thanks, Aaron. The ball goes out of play. Dick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I'll tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. From three-point range, he rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Momentary look from three-point land. Got the high pick. He lets it fly. Drains the shot. One, one, four, four, three, three. The number, number 23. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. On the outside, got a wide open look. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Dump it inside. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Nelson's modest play is having a negative effect on his composure. Emotionally, he couldn't be much lower, I don't think. Brad, I see a young man who's struggling at both ends of the court. Number 23 is called for the foul. Fourth personal foul. And the fans here are loving the action. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. Houston, have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Steals a pass. He blocks the shot. Oh. 
way off target. For two, and he scores it off the glass. There's a double team waiting there. Number 23 steals the ball. Gets a hand in the way. Takes away the pass. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Steal. And here they come the other way in transition. And the jam. Picks off the pass. Long down court pass. The ball goes out of bounds. Move with a face up. I tell you, looking around, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. He takes the shot off the baseline. He's not getting himself in position for the good shot. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. One on one. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Not a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He goes to the line for the first time. First one, good. No good. These kids are really struggling from the free throw line tonight. I hope they can turn it around before it costs them the game. Sinks it. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Takes the pass in the paint for two. Houston are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Defense! 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 Jumped in front to take it away. Big finish coming here, partner. I'm not going anywhere. Offensively, this is when it's extremely important to have the right people shooting the basketball at the right times. The shooting guard gets the pass. Well, Mr. Vital, let's take a look at our backcourt production. Hey, I'll tell you one thing, Brad. You look at the stats, you want to find out if your backcourt is playing well. Well, you want to ensure that your guards keep the number of turnovers down. That's a must. Reduce turnovers. So many games are won and lost by teams turning the ball over. Turnovers missed opportunities happen, baby, when you turn the rock over. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Steal. Gets it back out. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. In the paint, number 41 is called for the defensive foul. First personal foul. He wants the crowd to get pumped up. Dick, he is feeling it. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. He goes to the line. Makes his first. 
They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Gets the second. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. There's the pick. There's the roll. Houston have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Let's get back to the action. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. There's the trap. And he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. With the jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. And he'll kick it back outside. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Rims out. They work it around the perimeter. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Postel receives the pass. The Cougars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep getting the ball. It's simple. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Great shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Tries for two. The lead is up to eight. They could be starting to pull away here, Dick. Might see a little different look this time, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. That brings the lead to eight points, Dick. But eight points doesn't secure a win at this point, Brad. And the ball goes out of play. Well, Dick, the shots seem to be dropping for him right now. Well, I'll tell you one thing. They're dropping, and you better have good productivity out of your front court. When you have that balance inside-outside, you got a great chance to win. And you have to have post players that are going to make big plays. They move it into the front court. Got an open look if he wants it. Shoots from outside. He gets the shot to fall. 
That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem firsthand. What a response. Hey, that reaction says it all. These fans are ecstatic, Brad. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Looking for a good shot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Hostel handles the feed. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. I like it when a team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off. The support possession if they want a chance to win. Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Well, let's see who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. Suber handles the pass. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. Shot clock is dead. Wow, and that stops the clock again. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooting. They will line them up. Makes the front end of the one and one. Second shot is no good. They need to score here to turn this to a one possession game. On the outside. He tries the three, off the rim and no good. They're working around the perimeter. This might be his last foul. Hey, things are getting interesting. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I did the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. He'll have one and the bonus. Makes it. Shot. Time to talk it over. We've got a timeout. Just about ready for play to resume. He lets it go. He gets it to go. Nick, it seems like they really don't care what the final score is. They just want to put up that W. That's all that matters. I'll tell you, they always find a way to regroup when everything's are getting really tough. They regroup and they make sure the ball is in the hands of the right people. Houston finally pulls this close one out. They expected to be the victor. They just didn't expect it to be this close. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.